Transition now to muni bloggers, people who write online columns about what's happening in their municipal government. It's the 21st century electronic version of political watchdogs. Here to discuss is Brittany Gilbert, our CBS5.com blogger, Hi. and Melissa Griffin, who writes about San Francisco City Hall on her blog called Sweet Melissa. Thanks both of you for being here this morning. And uh, let's just take an overview first, uh, Brittany, and explain to folks who are not clear on what a, a municipal blogger is. I mean, it's, a, it's an example of the changing media landscape. In the past, we had eight newspapers, and they were all down at City Hall, and they were writing about it in the papers. It's different now. It is different. Um, well, for one thing, everyone has access to a blog if they want to have one. And so, you know, people who are interested in their neighborhood and their government and, you know, the laws that are being made around them, they can now, instead of um, going in and reading someone else's report, they can go down, witness the uh, event for themselves, take their own notes and form their own opinions about what's going on and, and then go home and publish those opinions to others. And so it's just a, another way to get information about what's going on in your government from people who maybe aren't um, on a deadline, who maybe um, have fresh eyes and a fresh perspective on what's going on. And for that matter, they may not be professionally trained journalists, but right. are still playing an important role, you believe? Absolutely, because, you know, as you know, things that go on in City Hall, things that go on in government can be very dry and, and really, really sort of hard to understand. And what, what the great thing about municipal bloggers is, a lot of times they'll take these very dry uh, issues and break them down into really sort of palpable, easy to digest pieces um, in ways that you know traditional journalists may not even have the license to do. And in fact, we sometimes are focused on whatever we think the story of the day is and completely miss the boat. And uh, Melissa, you actually uh, you dive in. Your friends make fun of you because you spend hours and hours <laughs> watching these city hall proceedings. Uh, yes, they and do. And you have a real job. Uh, I do. I do. I, I somehow manage. Um, no, it's uh, it's just so fascinating. I don't. Uh, I, I always write. I don't see how people can miss an episode of city hall meetings because they're just so fantastic between public comment and what the supervisors are saying. Uh, it's, it's really riveting uh, to a sort of wonk like myself. Yeah, well, I would say, and we should point out, you have, you, you're an attorney. You actually work. Oh, yes, I, I, mean, I no, do. So, I mean, people have this impression that, you know, a blogger is someone sitting at home in their pajamas. <laughs> in their there, mother's right? basement, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, and so there you are on your off time watching City Hall proceedings. Yes, yes, I do. And your and eyes don't glaze over. No, no, not at all. I think this is really fascinating. And the blog actually followed uh, a series of emails that I was sending out to uh, a group of my friends who I don't know if they were just tired of the spam or whatever, but they said, <laughs> start a site because, uh, you know, you're writing all this analysis and it was just something that I was enjoying so much that that's why I started the blog so that I would have a, an, an avenue for that. So there's so much rich ground to cover, so many characters from the gadflies that show up and just start spouting off off the top of their insane heads <laughs> to the supervisors who I'll reserve judgment because I'm not allowed to. But <laughs> um, yeah, So there's a lot of drama there. There's so much to write about. Uh, it's just terrific. Um, they have people who come and sing. I mean, there, there's a yeah. whole cast of characters that are, that are uh, local people who come to every public comment um, or every other public comment. And so you sort of learn who they are and you, you get, uh, you know, you know what to expect. And it's, it's just really, again, it's absolutely fascinating. The meetings don't usually last more than an hour and a half or two hours total. So <laughs> if you can listen <laughs> an to an hour it, and a half too long. For <laughs> most people, right? That's true. But if you can listen, sometimes you'll get, uh, you'll get just something really fantastic to write about. What is unique about your blog, I believe, is as an attorney, you you bring your mindset to the table, and in fact, you analyze the legislation. For example, San Francisco has a universal health care proposal or legislation, and you've pointed out some major flaws in it that, in fact, uh, are, you believe could be fatal. Um, absolutely, and that is still working its way through the through the courts. It's still at the Ninth Circuit, uh, getting ready to probably. No matter what happens at the Ninth Circuit, it will probably end up at the Supreme Court. And I keep trying to point out that we're probably going to lose at the Supreme Court, so we should uh, take advantage of Nancy Pelosi's position and uh, amend ERISA, amend the underlying law that that we're sort of butting up against. I mean, bottom line here, you you support universal health care, so you're actually you're writing about it so that they will fix it. Yet you haven't heard back from the city side. You've heard from the other side, and they're using your arguments in court. Well, the hope is that I don't know if they're using them because they're mine or because they're, I think, right. But so you know, you see, you see the same arguments being made, and that's um, that's really rewarding. Bottom line here uh, with blogs, which is different than what you'll see on the mainstream media, we have to maintain an era of uh, an air of formality and neutrality. You guys can put your personalities in. 
right? Yeah, and I think that's what really makes blogs, uh, especially blogging about government issues, such a draw for people because they can they can get the who, what, when, where, and why from the newspaper and from from TV. But um, if they want, you know, some uh, commentary on what happened um, with people, you know, who saying or, or you know, bloggers are allowed to cover the outskirts of what goes on and not just the main issue and a lot of times that's what's most fascinating right. or what you know it turns out to be you know the real story behind what's well, going on we really appreciate appreciate both of you coming in Brittany Gilbert who you have cbs5.com eye on the blogs yes eye on the blogs right. yeah <laughs> a, a fascinating collection of blogs and sweet melissa and it's a sweet melissa dot Typepad.com, right? right. Uh, or you can go to uh, www.thesweetmelissa.com. The Sweet Melissa, okay. <laughs> sweet Melissa was taken, so I had to. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, both of you guys, for sure. being here. Let's send it back to The Sweet Lisa. <laughs> the Sweet Lisa? I'm here.